When you're starting a business, you need to use every advantage you possibly can. One of the biggest advantages that I think most people don't always utilize is the location. Your location in your business is pretty much everything, right? Now, I'm not talking about if you're um, an apartment investor. I'm talking about specifically if you're starting a business and you're leasing out space. So, give you an example of this. If you're an insurance company, and let's say you write health insurance policies, what I commonly see, people call me up and they'll ask me, hey, listen, I need some space. Do you know of any space? Uh, something along those lines. I wanna be this area, I wanna be close to my office and whatever. Hey, that's fantastic. And most of the time, it's someone who has an agreement with like a state farm or an all state or one of those providers, right? And um, I don't know if that's a franchisee owner, but they have some kind of an agreement with them. Well, this is a great business model and it works for them, but they'll want a small office, maybe 500 square feet, and they'll wanna be tucked away somewhere because they'll tell me, look, I don't have a lot of walk-in traffic. I don't need to spend that much money. And maybe they wanna be, for this example, we're gonna say 10 bucks a foot. And that works great. Hey, what I always try to do is push them into getting into a retail location. And I'll tell you the reasons why. They might pay maybe $15 a foot, right? They might be paying a little bit more and they're probably thinking, what do I need to pay that much money for? Well, look, in a retail location, you might have a lot more foot traffic that you'll never get if you have an office tucked away on the second floor in the back corner somewhere. And it could be somebody going to maybe a Target or um, some pet store, right? Petco or something. And they might see your insurance place and who knows? They may think to call you. They may think there's something like that. That's advertising you never get. Are you gonna get a whole lot of walk-in traffic? Probably not. Most people don't generally go into an insurance place or something, but you never know. It's traffic that you never would get if you were somewhere else. I almost never go into an office that is kind of hidden and it says insurance on it, right? And insurance was just an example I was using. Any business that you're starting, if you can figure out a way to incorporate it into a nice retail location and there's usually not a lot of competition there, right? What I mean by that is if you wanna open a nail salon in a retail location, that's a little more difficult because almost every retail shopping area has a nail salon and those are really tough to get in. Insurance, for example, or maybe a dental cleaning or something along those lines, if you can get into a retail uh, area, that is fantastic. That is a great way to do it. And that'll really help your business um, in a lot of different ways, right? You could be marketing, you could uh, incorporate your marketing with some of the other um, tenants in, in the property. So there's a lot more advantages to you. Sure, you're paying a little bit more, but I guarantee you to really help drive your business up. Now, here's another way you can play this the reverse. If you have a gym, for example, and you wanna start somewhere um, I don't know, something like an Orange Theory or a Planet Fitness or somewhere everybody goes to work out. What ends up happening in those locations is people want to be in a retail uh, area, right? And let's say a gym for this is 7,000 square feet. 7,000 square feet, sometimes 15 to 20 bucks a foot will be a lot more expensive. And what happens in a lot of times is retail, you're gonna have a tough time parking. There's gonna be other people moving around and that's gonna be more expensive. What I have done successfully is I have moved those tenants into industrial locations. In an industrial location, you can almost always have plenty of parking and you'll have a lot cheaper rent most of the time. An industrial property probably, be, now depending on where you are in the country, will definitely be about $10 a foot as opposed to 15 or 20, so it'll be a lot less, sometimes a third, uh, uh, 60% uh, less. So it just kind of depends on your area. If you can, you wanna save money that way because a gym, for example, is not gonna be the kind of place where people are gonna be shopping for their groceries and they're gonna say, you know what, I think I wanna go work out today. That's generally not how it works. Most people, they go to a gym, they kind of know where they are, they kind of know their market. 
um, uh, and, and they just want to you know sign up and do their thing so whatever kind of business you have really try to use your location to leverage uh, more business and that could really help your marketing there's a lot of businesses I see not taking advantage of this especially now going into 2020 you're gonna see a lot of shift happening um, a lot of properties are gonna be moving around and retail I've been stressing it for a while is gonna really have a lot of opportunity industrial is just an example I gave if you had that type of business now it could be um, you have an ice cream shop and you need a retail location. Maybe that's not an advantage for you. It could be you're, you're an attorney and you can't be in a retail location. Hey, that's fine. I'm just giving you some ideas that you could look into. These are some options. I hope that was helpful. All right, like this video, subscribe to this channel. Questions, comments, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching and appreciate it. Like this channel, 